What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you guys my fantasy booking of one last world title run for the rated R superstar, Edge. Let's get right into it. Okay ladies and gents, so firstly I just want to start off by saying that this storyline takes place currently with what is currently going on in the world with what is currently going on with edge and what is currently going on on wwe programming i'm not changing anything that has already happened i'm only planning the future or fantasy booking the future so currently SummerSlam is on the horizon drew mcintyre is defending his wwe championship against the newly reincarnated legend killer randy Orton. Randy Orton has been taking out so many people. Obviously, he took out Edge at Backlash. We've already got that story on hold. He took out Ric Flair this week on Raw, and he took out The Big Show. So, Randy Orton's taken out a lot of people. I don't know when you guys are going to be seeing this. Uh, I am filming it currently, and SummerSlam, I believe, is two weeks away, and this past Raw was the one where Randy Orton punted Ric Flair. So, I haven't seen anything past that, uh, just in case I don't get this up. But anyway, when Edge tore his shoulder at Backlash, it was said that he could be out eight months, which brings you pretty much to the end of this year. So it's a proper sticky situation uh, to book this one because I can't really change the injury. So what I'm going to talk about mainly here is Randy Orton. The Edge versus Randy Orton feud is not done in this story. I don't believe it's done in real life either. So SummerSlam. I'm actually going with Randy Orton winning the WWE Championship from Drew McIntyre, punting him twice at the end, and also maybe doing some a concerto or something sadistic that writes Drew off TV for a little while. And what that's going to do is it's not going to kill Drew's momentum. Obviously, he was the only... He's, if he loses at SummerSlam, he's the only WWE Champion ever to win his first championship and defend it never in front of an actual WWE, like, proper crowd, which is, you know, that's probably something only Drew will have the accolade of saying. So, Drew loses, Randy Orton becomes WWE Champion for, I believe, the 14th time, um, or 14th or 15th, I believe it is 14th. So, Randy Orton wins the WWE Championship. Now, he goes through the rest of the year, the next four months, literally just beating guys uh, such as, like, giving them the spotlight to them, but beating them. Uh, guys like Angel Garza, um, Austin Theory, people like that, um, that aren't considered main eventers, but, you know, are up there. He can also challenge, you know, if MVP, Bobby Lashley, someone like that comes at him, he defeats them. But to cut a long story short, Randy Orton beats every single person that challenges him for the WWE Championship. He goes on to say that this will be um, his final reign as WWE Champion because he's going to be WWE Champion forever. There is not going to be a single wrestler now that dethrones him. He'll turn around and be like, Cena's gone, Triple H is gone, all the guys that I fought in the past, they're gone. I can keep this new talent uh, beneath me. I can keep them in the palm of my hands. They're not going to beat me. And that is when New Year comes around. 2021 kicks off with a bang. Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton uh, defending his championship in a one-off New Year's Open Challenge. He's like, you know what, let's kick the New Year off with a bang. I'm going to defend the WWE Championship. And, you know, some random person comes out. It, you know, it could be like Kevin Owens or someone like that. And Randy beats them. But what happens is after that, a man from the crowd jumps the barricade, gets in the ring and attacks Randy Orton with a steel chair. Everyone's like... Whoa, what's all this about? Mask comes off. It is Edge. Edge making his return from his tricep injury January of 2021. And he is coming for Randy Orton. Now, the promo is already there. You can already hear Edge's intense promo. You know, I've got grit. Um, I'm back again because of Randy Orton. He injured me. And basically, Edge is going to turn around and say, you know what? It's been 10 years since I held a world championship. Uh, well, pretty much, a, yeah, it, 10 years at that point. It will be exactly 10 years. And then he can be like, after what Randy Orton did to me, I want to inflict as much punishment as possible. Now, we're not going to have a Hell in a Cell match. We're not going to have a steel cage, something generic that we would see and hopefully I'm, I'm planning this that crowds are going to be back by this point by the way let me just let me just put that out there 
Randy Orton and Edge. Edge challenges him to a three stages of hell match. Three match, literally three individual matches. The best one I can think of is Shawn Michaels versus Triple H, and we're going to get that again. So, at the 2021 Royal Rumble, marking exactly a year since Edge made his triumphant return from his neck injury, Edge will challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in a three stages of hell match, and he wins. Edge beats Randy Orton. Uh, he doesn't get every single win. Randy Orton can win one of the matches, but Edge wins the other two. And Edge goes on to become a WWE champion once again. Now, this is like a perfect ending already. Uh, I could end this video here, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, Edge, you know, once again, WWE champion. But this is where he turns around and he's like, you know what? Now I'm WWE champion. I need to defend the championship. So I'm not going to have Edge hold the championship long. Obviously, I'm only going to have him hold it until WrestleMania. I'm going to spoil that now. Uh, but Edge turns around and says, you know, the next pay-per-view coming up is one I'm very familiar with. It's one that I have had a lot of luck and experience in. The Elimination Chamber. So, Edge has put it out there. He is going to defend the WWE Championship in the Elimination Chamber against Kevin Owens... Seth Rollins, Alistair Black, himself obviously, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio. Six-man elimination chamber, final two men, Edge and Seth Rollins. Now, what this is doing here is I'm setting up Edge's next feud uh, after WrestleMania. So, obviously, back in 2015, you guys remember, uh, Seth Rollins tried to curb stomp Edge uh, when Cena wouldn't bring the authority back. I believe it was 2014, actually, I stand corrected. Late 2014, early 2015, I can't remember too much. But end of the day, Edge tried to curb, um, Seth tried to curb stomp Edge. So that's been a feud that we've been wanting to see for five years because Edge needs to get his retribution. And if Seth is still the Monday Night Messiah at this point, obviously I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be going away soon when Becky has their baby. Uh, but, you know... I. I don't think he'll be gone long, maybe a month or so, uh, and then he'll be back. And Edge versus Seth Rollins will be the feud coming after WrestleMania. So, at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, we also see another chamber match. The winner faces the champion. So, whoever wins the Royal Rumble is taking on the Universal Champion. So... I don't know who that would be. But whoever wins the Rumble uh, next year will be taking on the Universal Champion. In this universe, screw it. I'm just going to say Roman Reigns makes his triumphant return and wins the Royal Rumble. Uh, so Roman versus Fiend or whatever at Mania next year. So that means the second Elimination Chamber match needs to be the number one contenders chamber match for Edge's WWE Championship at Mania. Five men will be confirmed for that match. Surprise entrant is number six. Look at everyone looks at the stage. You hear the bagpipes, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is back after literally like about how long? Six months off. Um, and he will come out and win the Elimination Chamber. A convincing victory as well. Like a really convincing victory. Because the main event guys on Raw are in the actual WWE Championship Elimination Chamber. He'll be in there against like the mid to upper card guys like Andrade, Garza, Theory, um, Buddy Murphy. Or Murphy. You know, all people like that. So Drew will win convincingly. And then that sets it up. WrestleMania... Edge defends the WWE Championship against Drew McIntyre, hopefully in front of a live crowd in attendance. And that is when Drew will get his WrestleMania moment. Although he did get it last year, it wasn't the same. Uh, he does, he has earned an actual WrestleMania moment in front of a crowd. So Drew McIntyre becomes two-time WWE Champion by beating Edge in the main event of WrestleMania. And then once again, you know, Raw after Mania, Seth Rollins can attack Edge and that sets up that feud. But that is my way of fantasy booking a Edge WWE Championship reign in 2021 when Edge comes back. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below would you do anything differently i'd love to hear it i've been joe from joe's Talks wrestling you guys have been awesome i honestly think wwe could and with what's going on right now they fully could do this maybe not exactly the same as me but if they have randy beat drew 
Edge could be WWE champion again. It's a possibility. It's a genuine possibility. And if I said that to myself a year ago, nah, I would never have believed you. But if I said all of this would be going on this year to myself a year ago, I wouldn't have believed you anyway. So 2020 is just... I can't wait till it's over. But once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.